G.K. Chesterton famously answered the question, what's wrong with the world, with the two words, I am. Because sin runs through every human heart. That's what's wrong with the world. How do we fix the world? We fix it beginning with the cross of Jesus Christ, by becoming new people through Jesus Christ. And how should we live? We should live in such a way that whatever we do, whatever we say, increasingly comes under the Lordship of Christ, which includes taking care of the world and making it a better place for human habitation. Isaiah 45 said, God did not create this world to be a waste, but to be lived in, to be inhabited. All life should be under the Lordship of Christ, and we should make this world the best world it can possibly be uh, until Christ comes again. What's wrong with the world? The environmentalist answer is invariably, one way or another, that humans are what's wrong with the world. There are too many of us, we're a cancer, we're a virus on the earth, uh, and on and on. And these are not simply the words of extremists. It's very much mainlined within uh, the environmental movement. How do we redeem the world? We redeem it with sustainable development. But to say sustainable development invariably means no development or negative development, except typically for the elites. There are uh, upwards of six billion people in the world. I've heard numbers as low as 250 million is the maximum carrying capacity for Earth. We need to get the numbers down. Um, and that's how we redeem the world. Instead of seeing the world as God's good gift to serve us, we are here to serve the Earth. These are radically, radically uh, different worldviews different understandings of what creation is, different understandings of what it means to be human. To learn more, visit www.resistingthegreendragon.com and order the complete conference.